these kidney cures. They don't want you to know. Avoid dialysis in five easy steps. Have you ever wondered if there are natural ways to avoid dialysis? Could five simple lifestyle changes really transform your kidney health? What secrets are the medical community withholding that could save your kidneys? The thought of kidney disease or dialysis can be overwhelming. But what if I told you that there are five simple steps you can take to dramatically improve your kidney health and avoid dialysis altogether? It sounds too good to be true, but recent research is reshaping our understanding of kidney health and offering hope to millions worldwide. Imagine waking up to discover that small, manageable changes could lead to significant improvements in your kidney function. It's not just a dream. It's a reality that's within your grasp. Step 1. Controlling Oxalate Intake Oxalates are naturally occurring compounds that can be found in various plant-based foods like spinach, nuts, beets, and berries. While these foods offer immense nutritional value, overconsumption of oxalates can lead to the formation of kidney stones, which can damage your kidneys over time. Kidney stones occur when oxalates bind with calcium in the kidneys, forming sharp, hard crystals that can cause excruciating pain and potentially lead to kidney damage or infection. However, you don't have to eliminate all high oxalate foods from your diet. The key is moderation and balance. One effective strategy is to pair oxalate-rich foods with calcium-rich foods. Calcium binds with oxalates in the digestive tract before they reach the kidneys, preventing stone formation. For example, if you're eating spinach, consider having it with a calcium-rich food like cheese, yogurt, or fortified plant-based milk. This approach doesn't only help with oxalates, but also provides essential calcium for bone health, making it a win-win situation. Another practical way to manage oxalate intake is through cooking. Cooking methods, particularly boiling, can reduce the oxalate content in vegetables. For example, boiling spinach can reduce its oxalate levels by as much as 30 to 40 percent. Steaming or blanching can also have a similar, albeit lesser, effect. It's a simple, yet powerful method to lower your oxalate intake while still reaping the benefits of nutritious vegetables. Additionally, staying hydrated plays a critical role in managing oxalates. Proper hydration helps dilute the concentration of oxalates in your urine, reducing the likelihood of crystal formation. Aim for at least 8, 10 glasses of water per day to ensure your kidneys are flushing out oxalates effectively. For those prone to kidney stones, Drinking water with a splash of lemon can be particularly beneficial, as the citrate in lemon juice helps prevent stone formation. Lastly, it's important to be mindful of other hidden sources of oxalates. Foods such as almonds, chocolate, and rhubarb, while healthy in moderation, can contribute to oxalate buildup if consumed in large quantities. By being aware of oxalate levels in various foods and making smart choices in pairing and preparation, you can greatly reduce the risk of kidney stones and safeguard your kidney health in the long run. Step 2. The Power of Fiber in Combating Uremic Toxins Uremic toxins are harmful waste products that build up in the blood when kidney function starts to decline. These toxins not only strain the kidneys, but can also cause other health complications, including cardiovascular disease and inflammation. However, there is a simple, natural way to help your body eliminate these toxins. Fiber. Specifically, soluble fiber, which is found in fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains, can bind to uremic toxins in the intestines and help remove them through bowel movements. Incorporating more fiber into your diet is one of the easiest ways to support kidney health. Soluble fiber acts like a sponge, absorbing water and forming a gel-like substance that traps waste products, including uremic toxins. By increasing fiber intake, you can effectively reduce the toxic burden on your kidneys, which can improve their overall function and slow the progression of kidney disease. Eating a fiber-rich diet doesn't just benefit your kidneys. It has a domino effect on other aspects of your health as well. For example, fiber helps regulate blood sugar levels, which is crucial for people with diabetes, a leading cause of kidney disease. By stabilizing blood sugar, you reduce the strain on your kidneys, allowing them to function more efficiently. Furthermore, fiber promotes a healthy gut microbiome, which is increasingly being recognized as important for kidney health. A well-balanced gut can lower inflammation and improve immune function, offering additional protection for your kidneys. To get more fiber in your diet, focus on eating a variety of fiber-rich foods. Whole grains like oats, brown rice, and barley 
are excellent sources of soluble fiber. Fruits such as apples, pears, and berries, along with vegetables like carrots and broccoli, can also boost your fiber intake. Legumes, including lentils, chickpeas, and black beans, are another fantastic option. Not only are these foods rich in fiber, but they are also low in sodium and phosphorus, making them kidney-friendly. One key point to remember when increasing your fiber intake is to do it gradually. A sudden spike in fiber can lead to digestive discomfort, such as bloating or gas. Instead, add fiber-rich foods slowly and drink plenty of water to help your body adjust. Over time, you'll notice improvements not only in your digestion, but also in your overall energy levels and kidney function. Step 3. Optimizing Vitamin D Intake for Kidney Health Vitamin D is essential for maintaining kidney function and overall health. Unfortunately, many people with kidney problems suffer from vitamin D deficiency, which can worsen their condition. This is because the kidneys play a key role in converting vitamin D into its active form, which is necessary for regulating calcium and phosphorus levels in the body. Without enough vitamin D, your bones can become weak, and your kidneys can struggle to maintain a healthy balance of electrolytes. To optimize your vitamin D intake, there are several things you can do. First and foremost, spend time in the sun. Just 15, 30 minutes of sun exposure a few times a week can help your body produce the vitamin D it needs. However, depending on where you live, the time of year, and your skin tone, sunlight alone may not be enough. In these cases, dietary sources of vitamin D become even more important. Fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, are among the best food sources of vitamin D. Eggs, particularly the yolks, also contain small amounts of this essential nutrient. Some foods, such as milk, orange juice, and cereals, are fortified with vitamin D, making them an easy way to boost your intake. For those who struggle to get enough vitamin D from sun exposure and diet, supplements may be necessary. However, it's important to consult a healthcare provider before starting any supplement regimen, especially if you have kidney disease. Too much vitamin D can lead to an unhealthy buildup of calcium in the blood, which can strain the kidneys and cause other health problems. In addition to its role in bone health and kidney function, vitamin D has powerful anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic inflammation is a major contributor to the progression of kidney disease, and vitamin D can help reduce this inflammation, protecting your kidneys in the process. By optimizing your vitamin D levels, you can give your kidneys the support they need to function more efficiently and stay healthy longer. Step 4. Exercise for Kidney Health Physical activity is often overlooked in the discussion of kidney health, but it plays a crucial role in maintaining overall well-being and reducing the risk of kidney disease. Regular exercise helps manage weight, control blood pressure, and improve circulation, all of which are essential for protecting your kidneys from damage. For individuals with kidney issues or those at risk of developing kidney disease, it's important to focus on low-impact exercises that are gentle on the body but still effective. Walking, swimming, and cycling are excellent options that can be incorporated into your routine without putting too much strain on your joints or muscles. Even short, daily walks can make a significant difference in your kidney health by improving cardiovascular function and helping to control blood sugar levels both of which are closely linked to kidney health. Exercise also has the added benefit of promoting mental well-being. Many people with chronic kidney disease experience anxiety, depression, or stress, which can exacerbate physical symptoms. Regular physical activity releases endorphins, which can improve mood and reduce stress levels, creating a positive feedback loop that benefits both the mind and body. If you're new to exercise or have limited mobility, start slowly. Even light stretching or simple yoga poses can help improve flexibility and circulation, making it easier to transition into more vigorous activities over time. The key is consistency. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise five days a week to see the best results. Remember to listen to your body and avoid overexertion, especially if you have underlying kidney problems. Consulting with a healthcare provider or physical therapist before starting a new exercise routine is always a good idea to ensure that the activities you choose are safe and appropriate for your specific health needs. Step 5. Dietary Changes to Support Kidney Health Diet is one of the most important factors in maintaining kidney health, and making the right dietary changes 
can help prevent kidney disease or slow its progression. One of the most critical dietary changes is reducing sodium intake. High sodium levels increase blood pressure, which puts extra strain on your kidneys. Processed foods, canned soups, fast foods, and salty snacks are all major contributors to sodium overload. By limiting your sodium intake to under 2,300 milligrams per day, or even lower if advised by your doctor, you can help protect your kidneys from further damage. Managing protein intake is another key aspect of kidney health. While protein is essential for the body, consuming too much protein can increase the workload on your kidneys, especially if they are already damaged. It's important to find the right balance of protein, particularly focusing on high-quality sources like lean meats, fish, and plant-based options like legumes and tofu. Working with a healthcare provider or nutritionist can help you determine the ideal protein intake for your specific needs. Balancing potassium levels is also vital for kidney health. Potassium helps regulate fluid balance, but too much potassium can be harmful to those with impaired kidney function. Foods like bananas, potatoes, and tomatoes are high in potassium and may need to be limited if your kidneys aren't filtering properly. However, potassium is an essential mineral, so it's important to manage your intake carefully rather than eliminating it entirely. Phosphorus is another nutrient to watch. High phosphorus levels can lead to bone and heart problems in people with kidney disease. Foods like dairy, processed meats, and cola drinks are rich in phosphorus, so it's important to limit them if you're trying to protect your kidneys. Incorporating kidney-friendly superfoods into your diet is an excellent way to support your kidney health. Berries, olive oil, and red bell peppers are packed with antioxidants and vitamins that promote kidney function and reduce inflammation. Planning meals in advance and cooking at home allows you to control your intake of these important nutrients, ensuring that you make healthier choices for your kidneys. With these five simple steps, improving your kidney health is within your reach. Don't wait until it's too late. Start making these changes today and take control of your health. Your kidneys will thank you, and you'll be on the path to avoiding dialysis and living a healthier life. Thank you all for taking the time to watch our video today. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to not miss out on similar content in the future. Share your thoughts in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.